Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, we're going to put the zero turn mower to the test on a dry grass. So let's see if this thing can do the full three acres. Okay, let's get this thing started. Cue the dramatic music. <laughs> wow. Okay, so far we are at 70%. I got about, eh, say about three quarters of the front lawn done. I'm gonna do the other quarter when I do the side, because it's a long, big strip. And also, I do have the mulching baffle on. I also don't have anything plugged into the USB auxiliary plug. This is just in case you guys want to do this experiment on your own to double check my findings. Okay, I finished the front and I now finished the one side and it's down to 35%. Now what you will see, or I should say what you will experience is when it goes from 100% down to 50%, that goes fairly quickly. Then after 50%, it goes pretty slow. So let's see if we can get the rest of this uh, lawn mode today. Okay, we are at 25% and we only have one more section to go. Can we do it? <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Now the last section I have to do is the area, if you saw the video that said wet, tall grass test, this is the area that I did it in. So hopefully this will work. Let's find out together. Okay, there you go. Now, as you saw on the way back, right as I got done, the PTO shut off, and that's why, because it was at 5%, and it shuts the PTO off, so you can't cut anymore. So you have enough juice to get back to wherever you need to go to charge it up. There you have it. Thank you for coming along with me on this test of the Ryobi zero turn mower to see how far it could go. I'm very much impressed. It got it all done right to the last blade of grass. <laughs> so couldn't get any better than that. I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video, write a comment, and please subscribe. Oh, and hit that bell while you're at it. And as always, have a great day.